The egg is fragile and can easily break if dropped. But have you heard of an egg when released from a height that doesn't break? YouTuber and former NASA scientist Mark Rober often shares experimental scientific videos. One of his videos recently went viral wherein he drops an egg from space without break breaking it. His original idea was to drop an egg from the world's tallest building, Burj Khalifa. But he scrapped the plan and said, humans are always building taller buildings. And so if I wanted to future-proof this record, I realized that I would need to go all the way to the top and straight to outer space. He later went and said that he started this journey three years ago. He also said that he did not know that this would be the most physically, financially, and mentally draining video he would have ever attempted. Explaining his initial plan, he said, the plan was to clamp an egg to the front of a rocket, then attach that rocket to a weather balloon and take it up to space. Once there, the weather balloon released it, and just by using gravity only, the rocket would eventually accelerate past Mach 1, breaking the speed of sound, and then would autonomously adjust the four fins on the back to steer itself to the target location, and then 300 feet above the ground, it would release the egg, which would free fall onto a mattress that we did place on the ground. While conducting the test, he failed and the eggs ended up breaking. He then took advice from his friend Adam Stelsner, who is a PhD from Caltech and also the chief engineer for Perseverance and Mars Sample Return. Stelsner immediately spotted a fatal flaw in the experiment. After understanding the changes, Robber completely scrapped the old design and spent a couple of months designing and building a new system that borrowed heavily from the Curiosity landing. Explaining the new plan, he said, we would still go into space on a weather balloon, but this time the rocket would have fins that didn't move and it would be three times as long and four times as heavy to guarantee that we would get the egg to supersonic speeds on the way down. He further explained, just like NASA separates the crew stage in the upper atmosphere and then uses arrow braking to dissipate a bunch of energy and speed, we would separate from the back half of the rocket about halfway down after we'd already broken the sound barrier. And because this is now weighed much less, it would naturally error break and reduce its speed to the new lower terminal velocity. The landing, which was previously decided on mattress, was then decided on a dessert and was also successfully conducted.